Before we start today's video, I want to give you an update on the year-long test that we started with iRestore and my good friend Cody Branson. As of now, we're about halfway into our year-long test. We've done a couple of videos already talking about the system he's using and their kit, so go check those out for more details on what all he's using. But this past week, I did check back in with him to see what he is seeing on his head there on his side, and this is what he had to say. So I've been using the products, and I see that I have a lot more hair growth in the areas that have been thin here and on my crown. Um, little baby hairs are getting more and more, getting stronger. I find whenever I'm styling, I'm also washing my hair that I have a lot less uh, loss. And so overall, I see the products are working. Now, I got to say, I'm really excited for Cody and the results that he's seeing, and I really appreciate iRestore putting on this year-long test for us. And if you want to check out this system for yourself or, again, see what he's been using for the past couple of months here, check out the previous videos that we have put together and the link in the description. Now, though, on to today's episode. What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're continuing our look at the Lucky 13 brand with a full review of the Lucky 13 Classic Pomade. Now on their site the brand doesn't really list a lot of info on this pomade other than the standard specs but just by looking at it we can tell this is an orthodox water-based pomade or gel type and the brand lists this as high hold with high shine and a Mai Tai fruity scent which for me I think is not too strong when I actually smell it in the jar. It's actually quite nice I think and it's not something that takes over too much or becomes crazy crazy when it's in your hair. Price wise, we are looking at $15 for our four ounces of product. Inside the jar now, we've got a pretty standard gel type, nothing too out of the ordinary. It's slick. It comes out of the jar with no trouble or resistance. It's got some slight thickness to it as far as the consistency goes, but overall, it's what we've come to know and expect from this type of pomade. Now, I am going to be using this on towel dried hair that's more dry than damp, as that's my preferred method for these types of pomades. And what I noticed right away as I applied this was it's not as sticky or tacky as I was expecting. You see, usually gels have a certain amount of tack that's pretty noticeable when you apply it, but it took about three scoops of this one in order for me to feel that. So it's not a very sticky pomade overall, but it is super slick. So of course that makes the combing and styling super easy. Once I did get to that three scoop number, that stickiness and presence was there enough for me to get a shape and style. You can actually see, I, I can even push it with my hand to get some volume and it just kind of stays together and unified pretty nicely in an overall shape so it's a nice formed shaped unit that I would consider to be pretty good as far as gels go and as far as final styles go. Here's now a look at this style four hours in and I do this with gels so that you can get an idea of the hardening effect and just how high it goes you know and this one here did not harden up extremely high at all there's some stiffness there in the front but it's actually quite loose on the side still which is the weakest point for me in the style as you can see it's moving around a little bit this now is the style eight hours in and we can see it's lost some shape it's lifted there a bit especially on that weak side where it definitely didn't hold up that part honestly was a bit tough for this product but I did also find that I can wet my comb and restyle quite easily. I actually thought that the restyle result here was actually a bit better than the original results. So I think that's something interesting for sure. Now, as far as the washout goes, as a gel type pomade, I did see pretty much all of it come out with a good water rinse as per usual for a pomade of this type. Now, after doing all the testing on this product, what I see here is a gel that I just would not rate at the top of my list as far as gel types go. It's definitely not the worst one though. It's definitely not the worst by far that I have have tried. The results here were decent and things didn't go super bad at all, but I did feel that the hold was lacking a little bit. I felt like being a pomade of this type, it should have had for sure more than it did in almost all the stages of styling as far as strength of the product goes. So I just think overall it had some holes that definitely needed to be filled as far as the formulation goes. As usual though, that's just my opinion. The final verdict is up to you and if you'd like to check this out or anything else from this brand, there will be a link in the description as usual and while you're there, Make sure you do the usual for me. Like, comment, subscribe, all that awesome stuff. That's very important. I thank you in advance for doing that. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.